Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you're watching Vector Art. In today's video, we'll talk about toggle switches in WinUI 3. So if you have checked out my previous videos, I have made a series of videos on how to use WinUI controls. So if you have not checked out my previous videos, please do check them out. It will help me motivate make more such videos in the future. So here on the screen, I have the WinUI 3 gallery app, which gives you a fair bit of idea on how to use all the tools and controls that uh, WinUI 3 presents. It also gives you templates, also helps you understand the guidelines and also design guidelines and so on. So uh, please do check out my video on how to use this tool. So moving ahead in today's video, we will talk about the basic control called the toggle button and uh, the toggle switch uh, represents a physical switch that allows users to turn things on and off like a little switch use uh, we can use toggle switch to control the present user with two mutually exclusive options such as on or off where choosing an option provides immediate results so so here uh, under basic inputs uh, if you scroll down uh, we have the toggle switch which we will be talking about so here uh, you can see uh, we have a simple toggle switch uh, which switches on and off and if you see the source code here this uh, gallery app provides you with a small code snippet which you can use to implement this toggle switch in your application you can also uh, set custom headers to your content uh, for example here in the default if you see we have on and off you can set a custom uh, header here which says working and do not work so and if you click on the source code you will see uh, how we can set such a custom um, source code and let's uh, dive into the details so let me minimize let me close this application and go to visual studio and here i will create a new project while the uh, templates are loading so here you can see we have uh, the all the templates uh, on the um, window here and um, if you do not see these templates in your uh, Visual Studio, please check out uh, another video of mine where I have explained how to install WinUI 3 in your uh, environment. And uh, once you do that, you will see these templates. And for this application, I will click on blank package WinUI 3 desktop application and click next. I'll give this project a name. Let's say toggle demo and click create. So is this control uh, the right control for you? So we can use the toggle switch for binary operations that take uh, effect right after the user flips the toggle switch. Think of the toggle switch as a physical power switch for a device. You flip it on and off when you want to enable or disable the action performed by the device. To make the toggle switch easy to understand, label it with one of two words, preferably nouns, that describe the functionality it controls. For example, Wi-Fi or kitchen light. So choosing between toggle switches and checkboxes. So there is some um, similarities between the toggle switch and the checkboxes. For example, for some actions, either a toggle switch or a checkbox might work. To decide which control would fit better, uh, we can follow some of the rules. For example, you can use toggle switch for binary settings when changes become effective immediately after the user changes them. Um, uh, for example, um, we have um, a kitchen light and then you have a toggle switch uh, which can be on and off and uh, for if you in this scenario if you use a checkbox for a kitchen lights uh, it is not much clear because when you take it off uh, check the checkbox and unclear clear the checkbox it is not much clear that you are switching a feature on and off so in this case scenarios we can go for a toggle uh, switch so um, our project is loaded and i think uh, it is restoring the nuget packages right now uh, let me give it a minute and then uh, we will start uh, programming. Let me build the application once uh, just to rule out any errors uh, while restoring the NuGet packages. Uh, when uh, one important note when running uh, WinUI 3 applications you will need to have the admin privileges uh, where you will have to switch developer mode on uh, only when you turn the developer mode on in the settings uh, you can run these applications because it basically installs or deploys a package on the machine and then runs it so uh, the application has built successfully let me run the application 
so here we have a window uh, ready and loaded and if you see here at the center it has a boilerplate code that uh, populates a button and when you click on the button there is a code behind that changes the button content to click so and if you see on the uh, behind the window you have a live preview uh, which is uh, default triggered and um, if you since uh, uh, win ui 3 does not have a designer yet uh, we can see our changes uh, live by simply um, working on the window itself so if you have the code here now you have the code here so you can go to your main page and here on the button if i go and change this text to something else you can you will immediately see uh, the changes here on the uh, designer so that is how it works. But uh, if you uh, close this, then you will uh, lose the designer. So make sure you uh, keep the window open uh, or the application running while you are designing the application. Um, next, uh, let's um, stop this application and I will go ahead and inside remove this button that I have within the stack panel. And also I'll go to the code behind uh, where there is a button click event that changes the button content so i'll remove this i don't need it and let's start adding a toggle switch so in the, within the stack panel i'll go ahead and add the toggle switch and give it a name let's say light toggle and header equal to kitchen light and that's it i think let's run the application and this is how you can create a simple toggle switch in vdui So here you can see we have our header set and by default the switch is off and when you click on it um, it will update the status to uh, on so um, next uh, we will see how we can create a toggle switch in the code behind so let me close this application um, comment this out and go to the code behind and here uh, within our main window let's create a toggle switch And so let me rename it as light toggle equal to new toggle switch and let's set the header just like we did light toggle dot header equal to kitchen lights and that's it and then finally add this to a stack panel let me go to my stack panel and uh, see if i have a name here so right now in my stack panel i do not have a name let me take this copy paste it here and let's say stack panel one let's save this go back to my designer uh, sorry the code behind and let's use that stack panel one dot children dot add toggle lights so that's it and let me run the application okay there is a small error here okay so um, here you can see we have our uh, toggle switch and the header that we set in the code behind uh, next up we will talk about the ease on property so the switch can be either on or off using the ease on property to determine that uh, the state of the switch when the switch is used to control the state of another binary property you can use a binding um, like we will demonstrate soon so now uh, let me go back to the code behind and remove this or let me comment out this code and go to the main window and let me uncomment this and we have a toggle switch and um, and let's say let's add remove this header here you don't need a header and let's add the property is on 
I must have removed a and then let's say is on and set it to true and then um, let me close this toggle here and then let's add a progress bar uh, let's change it to progress ring instead of a progress bar and let's bind it to is active to a binding and let's use our toggle switch let's take this name dot is on and then we bind it and the mode would be two way or oh, sorry one way and uh, let's also set a width of the progress ring to 130 and then close this and um, So here we have a toggle switch uh, which when turned on the progress bar starts to spin uh, i made a small mistake uh, while i was uh, writing the code and here in this mode i changed the um, i set the mode as one time uh, instead of one way so that was the minor adjustment that i did uh, to make this uh, progress uh, ring respond to the toggle switch so next up let's talk about the on and off labels so by default the toggle switch includes literal on and off labels which are localized automatically we can replace those labels by setting the on content and off content properties so let's um, remove this progress ring that we had added earlier and we have a toggle switch and um, let's remove this is on property and also this get rid of this uh, toggled event or you can leave it as this doesn't matter but um, then we have uh, the header let's go ahead and add the header so let's say show images and um, let's set the off content to show and the on content to hide and that is pretty much it um, let's remove this toggled um, event handler event because because event handler because i have removed the uh, event here on the back code behind and we have our toggle switch now and if you see uh, if you run this application so here you can see we have a simple um, toggle button where we have uh, ch changed the default uh, on and off labels to hide and show so that was it for the toggle switches hope you all liked watching this video if you do please give this video a thumbs up like share and do subscribe to my channel Till then, bye-bye.